Back for week two. Back for week two. All uh, the, some flubs and some trial and error, but we figured it out, I think. But the crackling noises still stay on. Heck, yes. <laughs> I'll fight for those crackling noises. <laughs> yeah. Come at me, society. <laughs> America wants crackling noises. The number here, 844-COMEDY-9, or for cave people. 844-266-3399, if you don't know what your numbers mean in letters. <laughs> your... <laughs> If you're in your worn-out payphone at a truck stop. I have DirecTV. I couldn't tell you their number at all, but I know it's 1-800-DIRECTV, and I've never had to get, I've never been in a phone where that's been an issue. That's how they get you. <laughs> that's how they get your information. That's how they get everything. <laughs> what? I was trying to think of the ITT tech. 850-50-50. Boo-doo. Wasn't that... Was that DeVry or ITT tech? I don't... You know what's funny? I forget them sometimes, but, but good marketing on a phone number is pretty impressive oh i think it saves companies have an empire carpet oh yeah yeah that one eight hundred i call for the general call the general and save some time yeah there I, it's it's amazing the power that advertising people have that they can get in our heads that easily yeah you know sometimes the advertisement outweighs the product like you forget what the product <laughs> yeah. is. I, I used to love the uh do you remember these? The real men of genius. Oh, I thought that was great. They were great, but I still am not fully sure what it was for. Bud, Bud Light. Light or Coors Light? It was Bud Light. It was Bud Light. There, I grew up in Colorado. You were a Guinness man. It. You had to know the competition. Sorry, I had to know the ins and outs <laughs> when I was in the beer game, when I was a snake oil salesman for Guinness. Um, when I grew up in Colorado, there was a diamond place called Chain Company. And the guy has such, the guy that does voiceovers has such a, like, ma, ma. Like, he sounds almost like Droopy the Dog, where he's like, the hang came blue. Just off your rap and her rap and career street. One half mile east, the road 25. <laughs> there was a, a it's place. It's always going to be in my head. <laughs> there was a place in Philly that was, uh, it was called Robin's Eighth and Walnut. It was like, our name is our address. <laughs> but they would do a doo-wop song in the 80s. Yeah. And, uh. One of the guys' name was Jerry, and he had a diamond in his beard. That's and the song what? Would, and the song would go, "Jerry's got a diamond in his beard." And then Jerry was the, uh, the you know the the ba the bass guy. Like lots of people think that's really weird. <laughs> that would have to be and you were just like, but you're like clever. <laughs> <laughs> the worst Mr. part Robert is on it. Even you explaining that commercial to me, I would have to be him in the commercial. Oh, like, yeah. I got a diamond in my beard. <laughs> Jerry's got a diamond in. Lots of people, people think <laughs> that's really weird. <laughs> a lot of people think. That's my whole voice. That's what I, mean, I was built he, to do. He had a diamond in his beard. And, Everyone uh, thinks, I wonder if we could find that uh, that commercial anywhere. Robin's Eighth and Walnut. Everyone he, thinks uh, that's kind of weird. They both had uh, they both had on suits with like the couple buttons undone. What was the crustiest? Chest bush. Local. Th was that the crustiest local thing? thing in philly the crustiest like the one where you watch and you're like oh this is just awful no no there's gotta be Rick and Morty is crazy eddie crazy eddie crazy eddie? eddie's like uh like like electronics like okay. you know we're I'll... smashing pray and it was like, yeah like, everyone like, bash up the thing everyone's locally got that one uh my, our, oh dude this is it denver's local one was <laughs> hold on before we watch this <laughs> denver's local one and andy murkface he's bringing this up after this one was dealing doug <laughs> and he had a bunch of uh, he had a bunch of car dealerships, but he dressed up like a superhero, and he'd just stand there and like act like he was flying. It was awful. But here, this is the uh, Robin's Diamonds from Philly. <laughs> oh, he is all about Robin Diamonds. Diamonds takes the guesswork out. Rocks and Robins. Lots of people think that's really weird. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you think that's his real voice? <laughs> no. I don't think I so know, either. I don't. The black dude from North Philly they had to bring in to do that. He's <laughs> like, oh, so, so you want me just to do this right here? All right, I'm going to voice that white guy with a beard. Am I going to get some diamonds for this? He put a diamond in his beard. Brothers don't even be doing that shit. <laughs> it's like blown away. With it. Oh, player, player. You got that diamond up in your ear. <laughs> you got that diamond face. Oh, Where's, uh, did you find Deal and Doug? Player, face? player. Uh, look for a nice, crusty Deal and Doug. We actually, we found the Shane Company commercial. All right, someone hears his voice. I'm Tom Shane, and as a direct diamond importer, I've spent decades developing close personal relationships with the diamond cutters in Tel Aviv, Antwerp, and Mumbai. Yes, I've worked very closely with Tom Shane. <laughs> negotiate diamond prices. 
but it's the way Shane Company does business that gets us the lowest prices and first pick of their best <laughs> diamonds. First, we pay them spot cash, unlike most people. <laughs> and second, even though I buy large quantities of diamonds, we still hand select them one at a time, choosing only the best cut stones with the most sparkle. All right, well you get Is it. That you get good his voice for everybody. You know, he, you know what his voice? He's got a. Uh, he's got like 1950s science video voice. Play yeah. it again, where he's like, sometimes chimpanzees would climb into the trees <laughs> to find their food. Boring school documentaries. That's what I'm saying. It's like fifth period science right here. Shane, where are you at? Tom Shane, show yourself. Hand, hand boom by. Being old friend certainly helps when it's time to negotiate <laughs> diamond a hand talker, too. But it's the way Shane oh. Company does business. It would have been great if, uh, all right, it, <laughs> that's enough of Tom Shane. It would have been great if they got Tom Shane to voice Bane. In dark <laughs> I'm Bane. Gotham <laughs> is mine. <laughs> Bring me all of your valuables. Gotham, the city is yours. Just off Arapaho Road in Emporia. He made that whole uh, documentary about that guy, the, the Winnebago salesman. Oh, I saw that on Netflix. I didn't watch it. I can't get through it. It's boring. It does get boring. I uh, feel like you're it. telling me a documentary about a Winnebago salesman. Yeah, stalls you think. out. Well, it's supposed to be, you know, he's the guy who flips out. You know, the guy who famously flipped out. Oh yeah. And it, but that <laughs> got popular on like Ebom's world. But have you all uh, either from being on the East Coast or whatnot uh, ever heard of Eastern Motors? No. It sounds familiar. Oh man, uh, in the D.C. area, there's like this Eastern Motors, which is very big on the fact that, like, hey, you don't have to have good credit, but what makes it awesome is the fact that they bring in, like, local athletes to come in and do this really <laughs> shoddily written rap that... Oh, I think we got something does. for you, buddy. Do you? Brendan Haywood. Oh. Uh. Quentin Portis, Lavernius Coles, Lavar Arrington, <laughs> annual never wars, <laughs> Mellow, oh Mellow, there's a lot of athletes. In there. You know what's funny is there's a guy in a music studio that thought that beat was like amazing. Dude, you are laying down hot tracks. Yo, man, I get in this thing and it just it all clicks. <laughs> Everything comes together. I hear auto parts and I think athletes and this beat just comes out of me. <laughs> He's got that from the uh, straight out of Compton commercial. Yo, yo, E, <laughs> that shit was dope. <laughs> Play that again. You played that shit down, son. Um, yeah, there's nothing more catchy than sh shitty commercials. What's up, buddy? What is this commercial now? Uh, if you look up David's Pizza on YouTube, it had a huge run on the internet a couple years back. It was a big internet hit. Oh man, it's terrible. Man. I just it's watched. So I, just, I just watched Demolition Man, where they make the joke that all the commercials are like, you know, that's the music of the future. Yeah. But uh, it's really that's happening. <laughs> Demolition Man was right. We're playing it's all these commercials. What's that? It's kind of similar to that because it's horrible because it's modern. It's not an old commercial, and it looks like it came from, like, 1983. Yeah, and it's, it's got 1.6 million views. Let's get it. I need some cheese, tomatoes, and olives, and maybe... It's that local commercial that gets a girl already. <laughs> pizza, pizza, uh. pizza, 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 pizza. Every time I want that pizza... Wait, hold on. I this sounds it. like a I love it. This sounds like a coke had made it uh, with a keyboard <laughs> and just like a half of a teen, like a half a teen. He's like, yeah, you know, what? I'm feeling pretty gassed up. You guys want some pizza? That's good, Dave. Is that on demo? <laughs> oh no, man, I'm playing this off <laughs> all off the dome. <laughs> Dave's pizza. That there, that was good. That was, I mean, it sold the thing. Keep it, it going again. Let's it, play it again. Know, it just depends, background if, it depends if it was made ironically. Yeah, how much that means, you know what I mean? Hold on, let's get the lyrics. I need some cheese, tomatoes, and olives, and maybe even some meat. I need some pizza, 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 pizza. Every time I want some pizza, 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 pizza. I go to David's Pizza. Oh, the shoulder shimmy at the end was fucking ice cold. Wow. They should have someone come up and put a cape over him like James Brown. And where is that? It's in California, right, Tyler? Good Lord. Maybe is we it? lost yeah. Tyler. 
It's, it's terrible. Don't look it up. You'll be depressed instantly. Oh, I mean, we just, it just made us very happy. <laughs> I want to go to Mecca now. I want to go to David's Pizza. I'm going, dude, that, song, that commercial has reached across the entire country. Bro, your song changed my life. And made me come out here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for calling in, Tyler. Thanks for having me, guys. Um, <laughs> I was calling because of the beautiful Mount Airy Lodge. Mount Airy Lodge? I bet that's a, is that one of those fuck hotels, or is it an actual good place? Yeah. Yeah, oh, a- God, yeah. It had, like, the glass that you could... Soak in with your lover. Or, yes. You know, yeah, get a glass bottom boat going. The place, oh, I'll tell you a good story. Oh, one of here it is. Wait, and this is like, uh, y'all, it's 92, so this is like, you know. Now is the perfect time to reserve the all sports package at Mount Airy Lodge, Pocono mm-hmm. Gardens, or Strickland's. Enjoy swimming, tennis, and beautiful it. accommodations, fabulous food, and a special price. Right now, this $110 Throw value is yours for only $75. Call one eight hundred. Look at Damn. that. <laughs> okay, they just say they just have someone. Mount Airy Lodge. I do remember it now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know what's funny? That that wasn't what I was thinking when I said like one of those fuck places. Though I thought you were talking about one. Of, where you know, it's, Why did hey, they you show want, at one of those? You want a space room? Where there's like a hot tub and yeah, sp- it's it's a round dark. bed. It's always there's a porn. round. There's porn on the TV the whole time. Yeah, that's a round bed. Oh, this is from '89. So yeah, maybe, this is. Oh, like, I mean, they got the still the same chick nailing a triple backflip or front flip off the diving board. Yeah, this is more. This is far more luxury. There's no tennis courts where I'm talking about. There's still TVs with knobs. The ones I'm talking about. Yeah, like the one you're talking about. Hepatitis is exchanged. Oh this my one, god, the sheets and the the blanket are all. I've stayed at them. I've stayed. I've gone to those a bunch. Never with like, hey. Look at this one-time pig. I'm gonna take to this like fuck motel. It's always like it's always that's how white garbage I am. It's like a getaway for me. I'm like, oh, I guess sit in a hot tub, watch HBO. <laughs> you look forward to the amenities with like, the remote control that always has up and down channel. Yeah. There's no kick or anything. You know what? I've been busting my ass. I'm really gonna treat myself and go to this little cum swamp that I found in South, just get South some Wawa, just slugged in a hoagie, <laughs> sitting at a wobbly table, getting ready to fuck in a very hard bed. But you're gonna just get. Get fucking hot tub water all over the carpet. <laughs> it's in the middle of carpet, the hot tub. And it's just like a ramping up for just five minutes of fucking, and then you're like, I'm going to go back and watch ESPN. <laughs> that's all, because that's all there is? Yeah, that's just it. Patrick. Yeah. I'm hey. from the most horrible place on earth, South Jersey. Oh, <laughs> that's where Jay's and, from. And you had to be talking about the inn of the dog. you goddamn right, buddy. Yeah. yeah. White Horse Pike. Oh. In right Cher- it was in Cherry Hill? Right off Route 70. Oh, yes, sir. Yep. Yep. It is. Yep. Uh. Yeah. I'll tell you, a crazy. Mirrors so, on the ceiling. Hot tub in the room. So you've been there. And just, it's just like real uh, heavy hedge and I woods heard. up. Uh, Patrick, admit it. Guys, you've you've guys done talk. it. Talk. Work gets around. No, but you've come on. Let's be nah, real. No, no. I just heard all these things. You got the commercial right here. Yeah. The, oh yeah. Bring back the sun. It, why is this? This is almost like a pill commercial. He looks like one of his rehabs. The room was excellent. Very comfy and peace. Oh, these are all testaments? Testimonials? <laughs> the next one's going to be like, from the windows to the walls. <laughs> skeet, 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 skeet. <laughs> I was busting nuts and bitches all night long. Can you play that end. music again? Yeah. <laughs> give testimonials over that music? Yeah. That's fucking fantastic. Ah, when I was blowing her back out, <laughs> I liked that I didn't have to walk that far for the soda machine outside my door. That bed was so bouncy, I pumped so hard, I couldn't believe my dickhead didn't come out of her butthole. Yeah. I let her wear Says her... Says Tim. Her wig came off. <laughs> <laughs> Tim K, 34. I thought she was dead for seven minutes. There it is. Turns out she just passed out. Cherry Hill, New Jersey. No Patrick, shit. thank you for calling in, man. All right, thanks. Dude, that's, that's, that's so really funny nice. that guy called out the exact fuck den you found. <laughs> yeah. No, that was. That was the one. And yeah, this girl, Nicole's mom. Nicole's mom That's got us so a fucking, she fucking. got us a goddamn, and she drove us there. It was so weird. <laughs> she dropped you off like it was the movies? No, or no, I, I drove it. She drove us there first to go, like, pay for it. That's hilarious. And so like, they advance your, it for us. So they could see your faces? Yeah, but the whole thing, like, she, she had, she had a, her, her mom was a sweetheart to me, but she was a screwy family. It was one of those, like, oh, you think? she was cheating on her, on uh, her husband, who was my girlfriend's stepdad, who was, like, looked like Tim Curry from Clue. Yeah. That's he a, looked just like him. He was a bread delivery guy. I used to go with him once in a while. Dude, that's bread delivery. That still happens, right? 
Yeah, it has to happen. Whereas the bread, they don't all You're like, wait own. a second, I thought Subway makes their own now. <laughs> it's the only place that gets bread for you. <laughs> it's a white trash. <laughs> Where else needs bread? <laughs> we were talking local commercials, shitty local commercials, because that's never been talked about on the radio before. But we were talking about the ones we love. Yeah. The absolutely. ones that are. And there's well, nothing better than a local New York commercial because there's like the Hillside Honda. That one's obviously great. Yeah. Where it's like the guy hitting on the girl, but he's on a laptop. Do you ever see that no. one? And she's like, I'm waiting for Hillside Honda to open. And she's like buying a car. And he's like, can I use? She goes, what, my phone number? He goes, no, your laptop for Hillside Honda. You're like, you animals stay open. <laughs> 30 minutes, the dealership's going to be open. Hillside Honda. <laughs> yeah, like, hey. But if you're not. Because I want to buy it. <laughs> yeah. But that's why I love New York commercials, because a lot of them have that, like, thick burrow. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, you're not a real New Yorker. But um, Adam Parsons. From Twitter said we needed to watch Corner Furniture on YouTube from Queens. Living rooms, bedrooms, dinettes. Oh yeah, come shop with us. Be sure we're talking corner furniture. I'm so you excited. Want the best. Forget about the rest. You like us? We're sure. We're talking corner furniture. You want it? You need it? We got it. Hey hey. <laughs> we got it. Do you know what I'm realizing? No this day. is the first reference that like a Seth MacFarlane cartoon is made that I didn't get the reference until right now. Can you do Corner Furniture Cleveland? Just type in the word Cleveland up there. Oh, they did a they did a corner. So this is a famous one. Uh, yeah, I guess this is famous because it, was, it can't be. I mean, it must be. Local you watch New York. Cleveland show? I don't. So yeah, they, absolutely. Uh, maybe the account. Maybe I don't have it. Yeah, probably taking off. See, it's just like it's just like a minimal. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah. So this, this is the is one where he sells it. We got it. You need it. You'll find it. It's just like, it's just like a minimum. Hey, hey, you heard me. Come <laughs> shop at Simply Market. Stove in. It's just like, it's just like That's one of those. A minimum. What? Hey, hey. When that show made that, there's probably so many people that were like, I know exactly. Yeah. But then like people like you and me are like, oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's just like a minimum. In Texas, yeah, I'm gonna talk to Rick. Let's What's talk going about? on, guys? What's up, What's man? Rick? Now you live in t what part of Texas, my friend? I am the very bottom of Texas. I'm originally from Michigan, though, but I lived down here for the past 20 years. Okay, and you said local commercials out there just have to be. Yeah, so there's a lot of Hispanic ones, of course, who live down here near the border and everything. But there is one that was just really, really annoying. You probably I don't know if you can even find it anymore because what ended up happening was this guy is named. He called himself Crazy Willie. Of course, because he can't be mentally sane, William. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reasonable Bill. <laughs> I'm going to sell you a couch. And he's selling those appliances and stuff. And so for years and years, I saw this guy. And then this one day, his commercial stopped going on. And I didn't even know why. So I'm going to get a little bit of morbid on you. I used to work in a funeral home. Okay. And, I, and so here comes Crazy Willie. What had happened? Uh, he was crazy enough to be a pedophile, and they killed somebody. Killed him while he was in jail. What? Wait, wait, back up. Yeah. Did you ever look at the naked dead bodies? He had. Uh, I had to. I had to. I had to embalm him. Yeah, yeah. Him had. Do you, you ever like? Uh, <laughs> did you ever like fun dick slap someone? Like dick slap. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dead body. Uh, yeah, it gets weird. Weird when the dead bodies get a little boner, and you just gotta, gotta what? Not look at it. <laughs> Wait, a, a dead body can get a boner? I remember in Clerks, well, she if you're, had sex. Oh, if you're hot enough. You <laughs> 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 killed your self esteem. You your self esteem killing. I feel bad for I can't Rick. Get this it's, dead body to bone up for nothing. I'm rubbing like, on him all night. Yeah, Rick's like, I gotta hit the gym. Why? I'm not popping those bones like I used to. <laughs> yeah. This is always funny. I always, I always like it when local guys are super confident. And they're very, very confident in their product. Like, they don't know that there's... Like, they think it's national. I can't think of any, but I know there's ones that have, like, an old, like, gaze guy with, like, his hot wife or something. You know what I mean? Like, there's usually car commercials. I can't think of one, like, specifically right now, but you know what I'm talking about? One of like, my favorite ones look, was... Like, like, they're so confident because he's like, look at my life! I live the greatest life because I sell <laughs> cheap products to people like you who are in need. This is karma. You buffoons! <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a guy in Denver named Jake Jabs, and he owned America's Furniture Warehouse. Maybe it's national now. I'm finding out Tom Shane was cheating on the state of Colorado the Kill entire him. time. But Jake Jabs, all his commercials were him playing with exotic animals. 
<laughs> on couches and shit, like white tigers, and he'd be like, oh, look at me, I'm just Jake Jabs. <laughs> is this it here? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss our big furniture sale on right now here at American Furniture Warehouse. He's just being licked by two tigers? <laughs> it was lions. <laughs> lions. <laughs> what, was it, what was the commercial for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for furniture? Uh, yeah, I'm so confident in my furniture, I'm going to put my hands in the life of a How's your new couch? Like, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it's great since it was tested out by two lions and Jake Jabs. <laughs> <laughs> this thing had 500 pounds. Looking at his face, why would he... What does that prove? That was all... Look, the one who just pawed at it. <laughs> Don't miss our big furniture sale on right now here at American Furniture Warehouse. But I love the fact that the guy, the animal expert, clearly comes into the frame. It's not going to stop. Stop, <laughs> yeah, stop, stop. Jake, that's not... No, that's the I mean, that pawing at him is going to be funny. He goes, right he goes, there. Yeah, he goes, I'm Jake Jabs, and my furniture... Holy shit! He gets scalped <laughs> by, like, one paw whack. The gargly blood. The, <laughs> 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 that side bite. <laughs> where they come with the side of their mouths, the kill bite. Oh, shit. He's like, oh, I love it. Come check out this sectional couch. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> and the two end chairs come out to be full lounge back. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Let go of me line. I'm Jake Jabs. I could get you a deal on a lazy boy. <laughs> Jake it, Jabs. Jake Jabs, man. The animal. I call, I'm going to start calling him the Beast Master. Oh, but uh, so Carrie in Please. Indiana. Hey guys, you've been cracking me up. Today. Oh, thank you. Telling you. Uh, so we have a guy who runs a car dealership here in Indiana, and he always has some kind of gimmick. Okay. Like every time there's a sale of something different, there was one where. What's his wait? Real quick, what's his name so we can try to find it before? Bob Rohrman. Bob Rohrman. Uh huh. It's R O H R. R O H R. Um. So. And he had one that was car wars, and so they had lightsabers, and he was, like, fighting people off. Okay, so, I mean, this guy throws a little money behind the production, at least. If oh, he's no, it's really cheesy. It's really <laughs> awful. And the, then, every commercial, he roars his name. Oh, because so of like, Bob Rohrman. Oh. Now, the worst thing about it, is that I'm actually distantly related to the guy. You're in the Roar... You're, <laughs> you come from Roarman money? <laughs> of the Indiana Roarmans? <laughs> <laughs> yes. so oh, what a prestigious life you've had. <laughs> day chopper, day chopper. Yeah, oh, what boarding school did you go to with all that Roarman money? Big <laughs> <Hey, laughs> cruel intentions. <laughs> Did you have to wear a book on your head the first five years learning posture? Bob Roman's not going to have any distant cousin walking around with bad posture. Um, honey, did you trash Uncle Bob on the radio? Because you know that's going to cut off our money supply. <laughs> honey, I know Uncle Bob's a weirdo, but in this family, we those commercials, together. Those commercials feed us, and I need you to not go on some talk show. But So you're related to him? Yeah, he's like my dad's third cousin or something. I've met him once in my whole life. Did he roar at you when you met him? <laughs> no, but people constantly do that to me. Because you're related to him? They heckle you with yeah, your third I cousin? Yeah, because I have that last name. Oh, you have They're the like, roar. Oh, Terry Roarman. Oh. Oh, your last name is Roarman. That's yeah. hilarious. Good for you. That's uh, <laughs> you're living in the Roarman dynasty. <laughs> oh yeah, fantastic. It's one of those towns where it's like it's you live in Roarman County <laughs> yeah. on Roarman Street. <laughs> now there's a problem apparently with Roman's son. He's got an infatuation with women that aren't necessarily as sharp as they should be. <laughs> Do your kids go to Roarman Elementary? Yeah. Now you know where the money from Roarman Elementary. I don't know why they're southern all of a sudden. Uh, they are, are they? Oh, no, Indiana. No, Midwestern. Indiana. Hey, Gary. <laughs> Bob Rohrman's third cousin's over ye. Yeah, the king of savings. Well, thank you. I mean, it's an honor to have a member of the Rohrman clan call into our show. The Rohrman. Oh, yeah, thank you for calling. You have a good one. You too. Take care, okay. We're going to play your fifth cousin's commercial here when he roars. Annoying. Bobcat. Ugh. King of the jungle. King of savings. Get to Bob Roman dealership during our annual Spring Ken <laughs> Sales event. Step out of the wild and Hold get on. to the why is he? Yeah, that's not That good. guy's on his way out, dude. Someone, dude. Jesus. Someone close in the Roman I dynasty. I saw him before I heard him, and I did not think he was going to be that frail. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm confused. I'm <laughs> right on. 
<laughs> Am I, I going on a real safari? I remember when they made the first car. <laughs> <laughs> Your Tucker had a dream. <laughs> oh, the crazy laugh. Big is no laughing matter. At the Bob Romanato Group, over 7,000 new and used cars online at BobRorman.com. Oh, he even There's says only it. one, Bob Rorman. <laughs> <laughs> He sounds, he's almost got like a little bit of drunk mouth, where he's like, he's like he's uh, Dudley Moore and Arthur, where he's like, I don't know why, I'll just, <laughs> oh, are we gone? You, you look like you want to kiss me right now. I don't know about this game. I just want to kiss your mouth. That was fucking great. <laughs> That's a Bob Roman commercial. Can... Let's see it. You look. What if she just said yes to that? And they just went full blown. <laughs> Hot fucking sticky makeout. <laughs> I don't that. care about this stupid old game. Let them watch it. Get Schmitz. Let them watch mm -hmm. if they want to watch. Yeah, here he goes. We got him. It presses me the same thing it presses them. What does it mean to you now when the team is struggling? I want to kiss you. I couldn't care less oh about the team struggling. Oh, wait, Chick was like was Willie awful. Tomlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got Bill Rorman now. <laughs> yeah, it's Bill Rorman. Oh, God. Do so you guys want to talk? I just want to kiss you so bad. Yes, I was a Bill. Dakota in Chicago has a commercial. That I kind of want to find out what the hell it is. You there, Dakota? How you guys doing? Good, I thought man. that was going to be a chick. Me too. <laughs> Sorry, Dakota. I thought it's supposed I, to be Dakota if it's a boy. I remember the Bob Orman commercials too. You do. Those so they go to my area as well. So they go all the, the way up to Chicago. Wanted, oh yeah, no, they made it to Chicago. But the one I wanted to bring up is Eagleman Auto. Eagleman, Eagleman Auto. Yeah, Eagleman, one word. Yeah, the car companies seem to pull it up because that's always the guy who owns them wants to be in the commercial. Yeah, because he, he's he got, has to be. Listen, you have oh, to have no, a certain. Not, but you have to have a certain amount of arrogance to also sell used cars. You have to have like a, I'm so awesome, you're going to buy this piece of shit from me. <laughs> <laughs> a certified hunk of shit. <laughs> I'm going to send you uh, home in three tons of donkey <laughs> shit. No, it's Toyota certified. Like, no, it's that guy who works at Toyota certified. <laughs> yeah, I paid Don't him. Care. But you said that Eagle Man, what were you saying, Dakota? It's one word. I mean, you just guys got Oh, no, we got it. Yeah, we, we got, got it. it right here. What's that? Do you have insurance on this car? <laughs> no. It must These be porn stars. <laughs> I've got something <laughs> for you. That is. Does he shit on the car? What? He lays an egg. Whoa. Oh, look at those low rates. Those girls both had to suck his dick from the roll. I guarantee. <laughs> God damn tea it. Hey, uh, hey, Tina, Karen, can I see you in the office? Uh, listen, we want to do a commercial, but how much can I trust you? Do you have any acting experience? No. Listen, okay, okay. We spent, all the, around that. we spent most of the money on the egg and the eagle man suit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to need you to be a team player. There's here. a guy dressed like an eagle. Like, like, he's dressed like, like um, the eagle in Ace Ventura for the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Yeah, except he's not wearing uh, any uniform of any sort. He's an eagle. Yeah, and he takes a he shits out an egg on top of the car. Yeah, as as you heard with the worst acting of all. And time. the egg gives birth for some reason to an ostrich <laughs> holding a contract for a different car. That'd be funny if they're like. That's how it happens. He goes. That's how we do it down here at Eagle Man. Eagle Man, we wreck your car and then we give you another one that's not yours. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Dakota. That commercial <laughs> is awful. <laughs> that was I, I'll watch that several more times. <laughs> I want to talk to Brandon in Indiana. Brandon, Indiana, you there, buddy? No, that's yeah. uh, Phil. Is that Phil? Yeah, it's Phil. Hey, Phil, we'll get right back to you. Hold on, real quick. We want to talk. We're, right. we're still getting some kinks out at the bonfire. Sometimes mushrooms are <laughs> burn with <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, Brandon, you there? Yeah, I'm there. Hey, what's up, man? So, what's I want to know what the hell this commercial is. Okay, it's a guy that sells furniture out of Bloomington, Indiana, and he uses this uh, a poster, like a life-size version of himself. And like, it's, okay, uh, like a, yeah, like a fathead? Well, uh, kind of, but it's a stand-up poster board, and he has it in his store. And uh, 
Uh, he has these really cheesy commercials, and he usually talks about Fett or his flat Steve guy. But uh, it became so popular that actually some people from the town walked in there one day and stole it out of the store. They took flat Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Did that make TMZ? <laughs> America's most Flesh wanted. Steve! No, but it made it to the front paper of the Bloomington Herald. No Did it really? Shit. So that was big news yeah. that Flat Steve got ganked by a couple of really funny people. Oh yeah, I wish I would have done it. I wish they. I would have been better had they taken Flat Steve than taken him around Bloomington and done funny things with him and sent like uh, kidnapper notes where you cut out all the letters of a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Do you miss Flat Steve? <laughs> I bet you miss your flat Steve. I just want to hear him. Yeah. Just let me hear him. This bank card. <laughs> oh, my God, that's him. That's him. <laughs> now, he might not come back to you uh, all at once unless we get what we want. <laughs> savings. <laughs> <laughs> we want savings. 60 to 70% off retail. <laughs> not on a holiday weekend. <laughs> Unmarked. I can't make it out on Lincoln's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we want to save on an Ottoman. Listen, could you please stay open until 8 p.m.? <laughs> on Sunday. Well, thanks for calling in, Brandon. I want to talk to Connor in Texas. Connor. Because I'm going to take a guess. Connor. Hey, guys. How are you doing? What's up, dude? Hey, quick question. If Is what you're about to bring up a local law firm? It is indeed a local yes! law firm. You know Fucking this. Fucking call that shit just by the name. I don't know who this is, but who are you talking about? I'm talking about this guy, this uh, injury lawyer. Jim Adler. He would come on TV and he just had these horrible local commercials. It was uh, bad CGI in the background and he would just scream at you. His tagline was the Texas Hammer. <laughs> he repeated about a dozen times. I'm Jim Mandler. Like fair and hand over a fair award. They must be hammered and hammered before they see the light. I'm Jim Adler. The Texas Hammer and I get results. Spokesperson for Jim Adler. Can you prove that? Just listen to this. I'm hammered and got to buy $140,000 after she cracks in the back. And and have it. Shut up, you dumb cow. <laughs> I want to take the Hammer. Shut up. Suck it, you fat turd! <laughs> We're not here for your horse shit. I'm here to win you money. I don't even like you personally. I'm just here to win. Button your top button, slut. <laughs> Go find Jesus. I'm sick of peddling your whoredom on this commercial. You shouldn't have opened your legs in the first place. I still want a 50 grand. <laughs> Conception starts at six. Good night. The hammer has dropped. <laughs> He just comes with a bunch of oop, like ultra conception. Starts at flirting, you dumb pig. <laughs> Dress like that out of the house without a husband, you should be beaten with stones. <laughs> like what? The Texas hammer? Maybe Arabs do have some good ideas. <laughs> uh, play that commercial again. Tell <laughs> it from the beginning. Ah, I'm <laughs> worked up. <laughs> hand over a fair award. They must be hammered and hammered before they see the light. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and I get results. Spokesperson for Jim Adler. Can you prove that? Just listen to this. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid bitch. Fuck off. After she fractured her back and had a collapsed lung. The proof Collapse is in the money. Yeah. Call me right now. It's hammer time. 713-777-4000. 713. Hey, dude, that's Connor. You no just black man. <laughs> <laughs> And no blusher snacks. <laughs> I don't take EBT or blusher snacks. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot pay me with a Macy's gift card. <laughs> Pro bono doesn't exist in my dialect. If you want me to work for it, you better have some money. <laughs> right here, I will accept guns and sometimes ammunition as payment. Oh, holy Dude, shit. Connor, you just gave us the greatest gift of all. That was fantastic, buddy. Now, this was years ago, but uh, his commercial, you can probably find it on YouTube. It's O R B Y, the Supervan Man, and he's dressed in like a Superman outfit, and he's doing this ridiculous dance. It's just, it's Buddy, we got uh, it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my yeah. god. The first frame alone <laughs> is amazing. Oh. Superman man, Superman man, Orby. He looks like Dan Quinn. Superman man, Orby. Orby. Mini van, full size van, high top van. Only Orby offers you super quality vans with every option from just sixteen nine ninety five. Get a van, get a van, Superman man, Orby. Get a van, you can't get a van, the Superman man is Orby. 
I, I wasn't going to hurt him. I was just going to play with him. <laughs> yeah, he, looks like, he looks like a dad dancing at a wedding. <laughs> he, looks like a, he looks like a guy's like a, like a half wit. <laughs> just yeah. like, oh, no, he's <laughs> hanging out with him. You, I got to run. That's a puppet too hard. <laughs> Orby, get away from that dog. You know you're going to kill it. Can I have the extra dessert if I let him go? Guys, but why would you be mad at me? I'm telling you, I've had cheap bags. <laughs> Orby's the Superman man. He just walks out. I will be a Superman man. You know Orby, that. you cannot wear your Superman costume in the grocery store. Why not? Why not? Just, Orby, we talked about this. Because I'm a super boy. I'm 35. I Little know, boy. and you're my super boy. <laughs> but you can't wear it to the grocery store, buddy. Can I ride in the cart? We can, if you take off the Superman, I'll let you ride in the cart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then they gave him a business. <laughs> Or be the Superman man. I don't know, man. I uh, Thank you for the call, by the way, Phil. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, man. no problem, man. Thank you, man. Have a good day, my friend. Um, I I was I thought we were going to turn the corner to local law, uh, local um, law firms. <laughs> All which local law firms easily. We don't get paid until we get money for you, dude. But Jim the Hammer Adler, the Texas <laughs> Hammer. That's yeah. That'll that, be that'll that's be the best one again. so far. <laughs> Can you prove it to me? Suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight you in your own home and win a lawsuit against you because I'm the Texas uh, Hammer. We are riding these commercials the whole way, everybody. So wait, what's this commercial you're? Well, back home, I live. I live in Clarksburg, West Virginia. Beautiful. Perfect. And we have what's known as Grandma's House Furniture, and what we have there is a cross-dressing old guy doing the commercials. Okay. And how long have these been going on? Oh, my God. Since I was a kid and I'm 37 now. So this dude was way ahead of the wave as far oh, as accepting yeah. transgender, accepting oh, yeah. uh, transvestites. <laughs> this guy was progressive as shit. Oh, yeah, the funny thing I think about it. Oh, this is super 80s because it's like made. Why is he sawing? So in the commercial, this guy's dressed as a grandma and he's sawing through a dresser. <laughs> grandma, make you better, baby. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. Stopping at grandma's house. The big red barn, Nutter Ford. Oh, it was in a barn? Through confusion. Wait, can you wow. play that back again? Play that end part back again? Let's cut through confusion. Let's oh, go. she's cutting through confusion. I mean, I don't understand that at all, <laughs> and I'm more confused because... You have a boner? <laughs> yeah, I, and I am a rock hard. I've got a lot of confusing <laughs> feelings right here. Grandma, I don't know why I want to go to a barn and beat <laughs> off right now. Joey, thanks for the boners, my friend.